East Aurora, Knox Farm State Park offers families a place to get outside and explore. There are a lot of lands and there's a lot of trails that come through here. There's uh, close to 650 acres. There's woods, there's grasslands, uh, there's trees, there's ponds, and uh, it's great. And, and there's not a bad view on the place. It's a great place for picnics. It's a great place for um, families with their kids to walk around. We, we have had some uh, walks on the uh, park grounds for groups and I, I don't think you can't miss not having any spot here be wonderful because the vistas change when you, you walk around and you'll you'll see as you're as, as you're going through I mean this is a great spot for cross-country skiing as the trails go off and then when you're at the other end of the field you have a totally different vista and as we get up to the house and the stables, you'll see the vistas all change, it's, it's great. I just think it's a beautiful place to be, and it's a beautiful place to be in the now, which is very important. And I think that for creative people, you can bring your camera, you can take a walk, you can look at the birds, you can listen to the sounds, you can listen to the silence. And the silence is a very important part of life, and we don't get to have it very often. So I think Knox Farm, at certain times of the day, is beautiful and peaceful and lovely, and it's a wonderful thing. Once the property of the Knox family, the history of Knox Farm is a story of success. This is your classic American dream. I mean, this is a young man, Seymour Knox, the first basically walks out of Russell, New York as a young man, and he goes to Michigan and ends up getting called back by a letter to Pennsylvania with his cousin and said, we're going to open up a store. You know, you're what, very, very young man. You open up a store and then within 30 years, he has more than 100 of his own stores. And then he comes to East Aurora because East Aurora at that time was known for the pacer of trotter horses. And he thought, well, I'm going to get into this. So he had this property because Buffalo at that time, late 1800s, was getting very crowded. And their people were seeking green space just like we do. And so he bought this property and he built this working farm and he, he bought some of the, uh, the, the stock from Mambrino King, which was the famous racehorse here in East Aurora. And he, by doing that, he helped preserve that bloodline. With what seems like destiny, the Knox family farm became a state park. A series of uh, uh, very fortuitous events or uh, uh, serendipitous events happened. Uh, my mom ended up, ended up becoming a, a parks commissioner. She met Bernadette Castro. Within a week, Bernadette Castro, who I'd met in Russell, New York, when I went up for the dedication of the building that was in honor of the original Mr. Knox, called and she said, Jean, I want to come and I want to have see you. So we had lunch on the terrace and she absolutely fell in love with the place and I, she said, this is the most beautiful place. And I said, and wouldn't it make a wonderful park? And that's how it became a park. So take advantage of this unique place where so much is possible. I love that it's so walkable and beautiful. The rolling hills are just gorgeous. You can have a farm um, that's flat and just kind of there. But this farm is beautiful. It's, it's a lovely place to be. I think you can take a walk and get back to nature. I think it's terribly important to not lose your connection with the earth. And I think moms who have children can come out, they can run, they can have a picnic, they can sit in the grass, they can, you know, just have the most wonderful time being out in the world the way it was meant to be, not the way we've made it. <laughs>